Hi everyone, so I'm here to do a Primark haul. I've been meaning to do this for about two weeks. So yeah, let's do a Primark haul and try on autumn style. Now, I went a little bit crazy. I did spend about £200, but when we moved house, which was only last month, I went through my wardrobe and chucked out everything that I hadn't worn for about a year. And that was pretty much most of my wardrobe. I seemed to be wearing the same things on repeat. So I was desperate for some new kind of injection of colour because a lot of my stuff was like black or grey. Um, I wanted some autumn colour and just chunky knits and dresses. Just switch things up a little bit because I've basically been living in jeans and grey tops. So I'll start with the boring things. I got their tights, just regular tights. I have worn these already because like I said this haul is about two weeks old. Um, so I just got plain black tights, I think they were 100 denier because I do like them quite thick, I'm not keen on the see-through ones, I think you either need like nude or pretty black. So I got a pack of three, I think it was like £5, but I've worn two pairs already there, some are in the wash. Next up, another essential when you go to Primark but really boring is just bobby pins. I got a tin of them for a pound and it also got a big like wad of just the brown hair ties, just the regular ones to go with these but I've already opened them and used them and they're probably lost already. <laughs> Okay, I think I'll stay on accessories and then go to the clothes because I've only got two more accessories. So I was looking for a bag. Basically, our anniversary, our wedding anniversary is coming up next month and I really only have backpacks or changing bags because again, when we moved house, I sorted all my bags out and chucked a load away. So I went into Primark and this one was £7 and it's just this really cute little grey one. And I loved the two-tone effect. It's kind of like faded on the top bit and it's like a two-tone. So the flap is slightly darker and this bit's quite a light grey. And then it has the zip all the way around. So you can open it and then it's got two sections. I thought you could fit quite a lot in it, but um, it's still quite a nice size to kind of wear across you. So even if I had one of the girls with me, I could probably still fit in like a snack and a drink or something um, if we just pop into the shops rather than lugging around my whole changing bag which I probably don't need. Okay and then next up I got a pair of black boots. I really wanted some heeled ones again for kind of smart casual you know like if you pop into the pub for a few drinks or you're going for a nice meal I, do, I feel uncomfortable wearing full-on heels most of the time because I'm not used to it so I wanted like an in-between kind of heel and I saw these boots and I absolutely loved them so they're a little bit bigger I know a lot of people would say these are daytime boots but I'm just not comfortable with that I'm used to wearing like flats all the time like trainers or something because I, I don't know, I just, that's what I live in, I'm only doing the school run, there's no need for me to really dress up. So these would be kind of like evening heels for me. And I just loved the style of them, they're really chunky, they give me a bit of height. They've got a zip on the inside to put them on. And then they've got this kind of like jacquard pattern in kind of like a satin, so it's a little bit shiny, a little bit of detail. Um, and then they've kind of got like this elastic around the back and I don't know I just really fell in love with them I thought as well like just for weekends when I want to feel a little bit more dressy rather than you know every day so as I said it's our anniversary and I had an idea of what I wanted to wear because I don't know what we're doing yet my husband is planning something but he told me I need a nice outfit and I didn't want to go too dressy because like I said we don't tend to do anything that extravagant so I thought a shirt dress with tights and then those boots would be really nice. And I found this shirt dress. So it's just like a black shirt material. It's got rolled up sleeves, but it's got this gorgeous, em gorgeous embroidery on it. And I just absolutely loved the colours and the pattern. I haven't been a massive fan of the whole embroidery trend. It's been around for a few months now and you've probably noticed I don't have much that is embroidered because I'm on the fence. But I absolutely loved this and I loved the colours as well. Like the greens and reds and oranges are just so me, so autumn. 
Okay, next up I'm actually going to mention this shirt just in case I forget that I'm wearing it because I bought this as well. But I've worn this a couple of times already and absolutely love it. Have been on the fence with shirts as well. I'm not a huge shirt lover. I feel like I always feel overdressed in them and they just don't suit me. But for some reason this black and white one just drew me in. And I really like it, slightly oversized, again, just for everyday wear. I love it with my grey jeans and my grey trainers, just for the school run and shopping, things like that. But I just loved how it fits, I love how warm it is, and yeah, I don't know, I just really, really liked this one. So this is going to be hard to show you because it's another dress and I'm sat down, but I'll insert a clip of me wearing it. But it's a casual kind of roll neck, really, really loose casual uh dress it's got oh, it's got tighter sleeves and then the rest of it is just quite loose and baggy it's just kind of straight down like a shift dress um but with the roll neck and i was unsure on this when i first wore it last week but looking back at me in the photos that i took of me wearing it i actually really like it and i think just on again casual days doing the school run with trainers or black boots and a little scarf and jacket like it's fine and no one can really see it and it's just comfy and casual really good for those bloated days as well next up i'm unsure of this when i i remember this being more baby pink than purple um, and now I'm not sure so let me know what you think but it's again just a basic uh, jumper and I do think this colour maybe suits me I just don't think I'm not I'm used I just don't think I'm used to it because I don't wear much colour apart from lipsticks um, but it's just yeah a basic kind of jumper it's kind of this purple colour with like a dark grey or black kind of marl on it um, so it's not all pink and again it's very casual very loose and it's got like a dipped hem so it's kind of slightly longer at the back and when I picked this up I pictured it with like leather leggings boots and a woolly hat kind of layered up in the winter um, but now I'm unsure of the colour and I've also just noticed it's got like a hitch on it but let me know what you think I'm sure I will wear it because I'm sure no one really cares what I wear. <laughs> Next up, another rather boring item. I promise I will get to the colour soon. I just got a long cardigan because I thought it just goes with a lot more. Um, again, just for layering up. So it's quite woolly, it's quite thick. Um, but yeah, there's not really too much to say about that. It's just a long black cardigan. Okay, so now on to the more kind of autumn things now i've posted a picture of me wearing this on instagram and everyone was asking where it was from and saying they loved it and it's probably my most worn piece so far i think i've worn it four times in the last two weeks and it is this beautiful kind of knitted jumper but it's in this gorgeous kind of burnt orange brownie color so it's just kind of a basic jumper but it's got like the uh cable knit detailing on it and yeah just with jeans and boots and a scarf again it just looks so nice and it's like the perfect autumny colour so I, as soon as I seen it I just grabbed it okay now I got another dress and again I'm undecided on this I put it on this morning and then I changed because I wasn't sure so I'll insert a clip of me wearing it but basically it is a kind of khaki suede dress so it's a choker dress so it has I don't know if you can see this bit that goes around your neck but it does have a cut out at the front and the back so the back has little buttons up here and a cut out here and then the front has the bit that goes around your neck and a cut out detailing in the chest and then it just has like a normal kind of t-shirt sleeves but it just goes all the way down as like a shift dress but I think I got it in a too small of a size I only got an eight and I feel like it clings a little bit more than it should so maybe I should have got a 10 and it would have kind of hung slightly better and given me less shape which I know is a weird thing to say but I wanted it to be really kind of straight down and casual um, but it's a little bit more fitted than I kind of wanted so let me know what you think I love the color though I love khaki on me I think it's really nice really autumnal and I actually really like it with my new hair as well 
Okay, and I got another jumper. Obviously, in the UK, we live in jumpers in the autumn and winter because the weather is just awful. But again, this one is more of a purpley colour, and I remember it being a pale pink in the shop when I bought it. Um, so, yeah, I'm sure I'll get used to it. It says it is... What colour? It says it's lilac. It is a quite a nice colour, kind of a lilac-y jumper, but again, it's that choker style. So this bit goes round the neck and then it has a V cutout on the chest. But then other than that, it's just pretty much a normal kind of knitted jumper, just in this beautiful lilac colour. Oh, I'm just not sure if it suits me. I just don't know if this colour suits me or if it kind of washes me out a little bit. It's a beautiful colour, but I just don't know if it's me. Um, so, yeah, I'll see what it's like when it's on. Okay, and then last but not least, this again is not really me in the autumn. I know red is in at the moment and I almost didn't buy this. I actually went back and got it once I'd already paid for the rest of it because I was unsure but at Christmas I do wear a lot of red so it's just this red fluffy jumper it's one of those like really really fuzzy soft fluffy jumpers with all the kind of long bits really really soft it's got like tight sleeves and then it's quite a baggy fit jumper um, just a regular v-neck and yeah, I'm not sure if I'll wear it until Christmassy time. I only seem to do red in Christmas. But again, I pictured this with leather leggings and maybe like a long black top underneath and boots and a woolly hat and just getting all cosy and snug because I know red is in this season. So I thought I would try it. And that is everything I bought. I don't feel like it was a lot for £200 to be honest. I feel like... Primark prices are creeping up but then again I do think they're really kind of on trend and the quality is definitely getting better especially with the jumpers they're a lot thicker a lot warmer and a lot softer so I guess it kind of evens out so yeah thank you so much for watching this Primark haul don't forget to let me know what your favorite item is and please let me know what you think of those two purpley tops because I'm really unsure whether the color suits me and yes, I hope you're all well and I will see you next time. Bye!